crossing Interstate 65 and US 31. So here's the key messages right here for me. Nobody should be driving along Highway 157, all right, which is right here. Nobody along Highway 157, nobody along Interstate 65, nobody driving on US 31, anywhere close to the Cullman Morgan County line. Uh, you need to stop, pull off, get into a gas station, get into some place where you can get into a site built structure and just hang out for a bit. These are racing along, they're moving quickly, uh, and they won't last long. Uh, but again, the encouragement here, it's just to be in a good, safe place and not in a car. The other encouragement is the fact that we don't want anybody in a mobile home uh, in, a in a situation like this. Uh, uh, so no cars and uh, no mobile homes. Uh, we want you in a, in a site-built home in a small room, lowest floor, near the center, and away from windows. Uh, so again, uh, this is a, uh, a situation where we've got a tornado Possible tornado on radar, about to cross Highway 157 right here. That's a major highway. Beautiful road, Coleman up to Florence and Muscle Shoals. Many people have been on that thing many times like I have. It's about to cross Highway 157 north of West Point. The town of West Point sits right here. The community of Battleground is right in through here. That'll be crossing over the county line right around the Lake On exit along the interstate. That's the Lake On Hill and I-65. This is north of Vinemont, north of Coleman. Um, and again, these things are going to cycle very quickly. Getting reports of, uh, from uh, Coleman County, reports to damage on a barn on County Road 1069, reports of trees down on County Road 39 across the line in Winston County. Uh, this storm has produced a lot of tree damage and some structural damage. Uh, and again, in, in this environment, you're going to, look at that, that's the lowered CC right there. Uh, that is good evidence that there is debris that is being lofted, which is a good sign that there's a tornado there. So this is what we call our debris tracker. The product is correlation coefficient. And again, uh, that's strong evidence. We have a tornado that is down approaching Battleground on Highway 157. that will be approaching Lake on here on Interstate 65 and US 31. So once again, uh, if you know somebody maybe that's driving along the interstate on I-65 or US 31 between Cullman and, and Falkville, tell them to just stop at the next exit pull off, get into a gas station, get into a fast food restaurant, some type of place like that that offers protection because the last place you want to be is in a car. This is probably a small tornado. I've seen small tornadoes take a car and throw it just like a toy. Uh, and you just can't be in a vehicle. And the same thing for mobile homes. So again, evidence of debris being lofted right here. Uh, now this is Jones Chapel. This is 278 down here. Uh, you've got 157, Alabama Highway 157 right here, and that tornado basically is crossing Highway 157 right now near Battleground, north of West Point. Next, it'll be coming out here. The community of Centerville sits right here. Lake On sits right here. This is Falkville. That's a pretty good-sized town in uh, uh, Morgan County, and uh, that uh, possible tornado is going to be coming out right near the county line where the interstate in US 31 crosses out of Cullman County back into Morgan County. So, again, this is the one tornado warning we have in the entire state right now. And it's this one. And there could be some hail in here. It's pretty good reflectivity core in here as well. You might be getting some small hail in this. Uh, uh, and again, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's take WEX05 if we can real quick. Uh, this is a look at uh, the storm in Falkville. This was, this was the earlier storm. This is not the ongoing storm, but I just wanted to show this because this is probably what people are seeing. Uh, this was a little earlier uh, with that storm that is uh, coming through uh, Morgan County earlier. That's moved on, but this storm we have now, this near Battleground, coming up toward Lake on, probably producing the same type of uh, structure as that. Uh, this is going to be a look uh, back in that direction. This is coming from northwest from Cullman back up into that area. And again, that's up into that uh, segment of the storm. Okay, and if we want to take that one back in the back, you guys want to do that. This is coming from the uh, Sheriff's Office up in Morgan County. Again, this is not the current storm. This is the, the first one that came through. Uh, all these images you're seeing, not this current storm, but it's an example of what you're probably seeing now with that. So let's go right back to the radar. And again, it's a 536. We have a tornado warning in effect for the far, far, far northern part of Coleman County. Uh, this is north of Vinemont. This is north of West Point. 
And again, the circulation seems to be a lot broader. What radar is this, Taylor? Is this a high top? I just switched back to high top, but okay. we were looking at the CC previously uh, from the Columbus. Okay, and this is a good view. High top's got a really good view. High top is up here northeast of Huntsville. That's the radar that serves the Tennessee Valley. It's got an unrestricted view down into this. And again, the circulation is broader at this point. And if we could animate this, go back a few frames, Taylor. I just want to kind of show the, the sequence of what this thing has looked like. You'll see how it's so hard to deal with these. And again, you can see it really tightened up back in here. And then watch what happens. It tightens up, velocities go high, and then starts to broaden out again in the last couple of frames. So at this point, that looks pretty broad. It looks as though the tornado may be dissipated. And we've talked about this. These tropical tornadoes are boogers to deal with if you're in, in the weather business. It is pure whack-a-mole and nothing more than that. You get one, it goes away. There's another one, you get that, it goes away. And it's very hard to warn for these things. So again, these are low-topped, brief tornadoes that are probably small and they're down for a while and they go right back up but they are dangerous i don't want to discount the importance of protecting yourself from a small tornado an ef0 and ef1 like i've said before you think an ef0 tornado is not a big deal have one go right through your neighborhood it's a big deal it can cause direct impact to property and threaten life and that's the reason we're here so but again in the last couple of frames the circulation is really really broadened out here but still as long as this polygon is in effect what do you do respect the polygon and you stay in a safe place until the warning goes away and if the weather service believes that the uh, uh, you know danger is over they are going to uh, uh, you know, let this thing go. But the warning is set to go until 6 o'clock. That's for 22 more minutes. And again, this has produced a lot of tree and power line damage and some structural damage in the history of this storm. It's been spinning like a top pretty much through its entire life cycle. And from time to time, it's dropped a tornado. And again, this is pretty broad. There might not be a tornado here at the moment, but there could very well be. So again, broad rotation that's sitting on the Coleman morgan County line. And again, we'll give you an all clear in just a minute along Highway 157. Battleground West Point, not quite yet, but in just a minute, we'll give you an all clear. Not quite ready to do that. It almost looks like yeah. there's a little bit of rotation potentially just south of West Point as well. Right. That's the, you know, we got one here and you got one down here. It's the whack-a-mole thing we mm -hmm. talked about. One goes away, another one pops up. And it is so hard to warn for these things. Uh, I, I have worked many, many, many tropical cyclones over the years and this stuff is not easy uh, and again that's a pretty noisy cc look right mm -hmm. now i think at one point it was very well defined that's a lot of noise more noise than uh, data so let's go back to the velocity i'm sorry the reflectivity if we can uh, taylor just look at the base velocity and again this is the line segment that's coming through northern Cullman and southern morgan counties uh, this came through winston county apparently did produce a pretty good bit of damage and uh, uh, we had a tornado warning the circulation went away Tornado warning went away. It came right back. Weather Service posted a new tornado warning. That's why we're here. But it seems as though at this point, the circulation has broadened out in the last couple of minutes. It might tighten back up in five minutes. It's the, it's the game we've talked about. It is so hard working, these things. And I feel so sorry for the guys on the Gulf Coast working landfalling hurricanes. They've got the hurricane to deal with. And then these things, these tornadoes that come and go just like that, it is so challenging. I want to say with some hurricanes like Harvey, uh, there were over 82 tornado warnings within 24 hours. And you have to try and catch these things, but it's hard. It's just not as it's not the same situation like we have in April and during the classic core of the tornado season here. But again, for now, we have a tornado warning in effect for extreme northern Cullman, southern Morgan counties. Let me show a big picture. We got high school football tonight. Everybody's asking, you know, what about my game? Well, the best thing to do, a, a picture is worth a thousand words here. That's the big view. And again, you can see the action is focused right up here with this feeder band coming up into what used to be Laura that's over in North Alabama. We have severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings in effect up there, but things are quiet. Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. It will not rain everywhere tonight. It's certainly not going to rain all night tonight. But understand that where the storms do form, they will be capable of dropping maybe a small tornado, especially up here in this northwestern part of the state where there is a tornado watch. Let's show our tornado watch, uh, Taylor, if we can. Uh, the counties in yellow on this map will have the greatest chance of seeing a tornado tonight. Uh, this would include Cullman, Walker, Winston, Marion, Fayette, and Lamar. And really the danger is decreased over here in Marion, Fayette, Winston, Lamar because that main feeder band has moved on out of there. Uh, but this is the tornado watch for all these counties in yellow until 8. The counties in green down here, that is a flash flood watch through about midnight tonight. That includes Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. But quite frankly, it's pretty quiet down here. Not much going on at this point. Um, 
So let's go back to our storm in northern Cullman County. And again, getting many reports from Winston of downed trees and power lines from this storm. Uh, Fire Rescue reports trees blown down near Upshaw in Winston County from a possible tornado from the same storm we're looking at now. Again, multiple reports of uh, that type of damage in Winston County. So again, Cullman is down here, Good Hope, Hansville, Blunt Springs. All of this is north of there for now. And again, this will come on in, in fact, everybody uh, in Cullman County at some point. But in terms of this tornadic circulation, uh, it's up here in the northern part of Cullman County. So uh, Cullman, uh, the city of Cullman itself, you're not involved in the polygon here. And that is very, very broad rotation up in here. That is not a tornado signature. That's noise. Uh, it might tighten up again here in a minute. But again, as long as that polygon's in effect, you respect the polygon and get into a safe place. Small room, lowest floor, near the center away from uh, windows. And what do you put on? A helmet. That's everybody. You know, it's not just for kids. A lot of people have the misconception in a, in a tornado plan when you go into your safe place in your house, the tornado the helmets are just for kids. No, it's for everybody. Every human life is precious. I don't care if you're some you know, old guy like me. Every life is precious. And it doesn't look good on some old guy. I've said this before in the air. You know, it's just like a cocktail dress on a hog when you stick a football helmet or a bicycle helmet on some guy like me. But it's important. Every life is important, so you want to have everybody with a helmet on, a, a cheap bicycle helmet. That, that really mitigates the loss of life, anything like that. So, again, uh, this is the broad view. This is the correlation coefficient. Not really seeing any well-defined lowering at this point. We'll go back to our velocity display. And, again, you can see that spot right there. That was the moment where we really had that lowering of the CC. That's a good sign we had debris down at that point, crossing Highway 157. Now everything is just noisy. The velocity is noisy. The uh, uh, correlation coefficient is noisy. And uh, we'll see if the Weather Service opts to let this go. Uh, I would imagine for sure we will be doing a newscast at 6 o'clock, uh, logistically speaking, for those folks here in the building. Uh, and that if this does tighten up again, it's going to be up in the Huntsville television market by 6 o'clock. And again, we apologize. I know that you should be watching World News tonight. Right now, a lot of people wanted to see that program tonight. Uh, we apologize. But then again, maybe we don't because this is a direct impact to life. And every life is precious. I don't care if you live in Coleman County or Jefferson County. Everybody's life is important. We treat every county the same in the television market here. And the minute the tornado warning goes away, we'll get back to David Muir and World News tonight and uh, Ginger Z and our friends there. So uh, it is now uh, 544. I'm James Spann with Taylor Serrano. We're working a severe weather event, a tornado warning in effect for the northern part of Coleman County, scheduled to expire at 6 o'clock. And uh, again, the circulation has broadened considerably uh, at this point. And again, there's no evidence of a tornado at the moment. This could recycle again. Uh, the warning extends over here to Gold Ridge in Coleman County. It does not make it to Bailey, Baileyton or Fairview. Uh, and again, it's north of Coleman. This is the far northern part of Coleman, basically from Vinemont on north. And that initial circulation center would be right up in through here now, Falkville down to Lacon, somewhere in that area. But we've just lost it in the noise. Uh, so that's the uh, good news here. Um, we uh, Let me show you another image coming in on WEX05 if we can. This is coming from West Point. Uh, this is an image with this current storm. And again, in Alabama, we got a lot of trees, but that is a well-defined lowering uh, right there. And again, uh, West Point is just off Alabama Highway 157. Um, next image here, this is going to be some uh, rain coming in from uh, Battleground. And again, that's uh, up Highway 157. We also have a crew um, on I-65 in Coleman County heading towards that storm. If we want to take that live shot, we do have that available. Okay, yeah, we'll go to the, okay. Uh, this is uh, a crew uh, working to chase these storms. And again, it's going to be tough today. It is absolute whack-a-mole today uh, for, for the folks that are out in the field. And I, I feel for them having to deal with this. But again, that is a look, a live look, a dash cam look, looking north up into the storms uh, up in Morgan County and far northern and western Coleman County. Let's go back to WEX05 again real quick. Want to take that full screen. Uh, uh, this is an image uh, coming in earlier today. This is the tornado warm storm. Uh, in uh, North Coleman, the one that we're working right now. And again, you don't see any really well-defined wall cloud or uh, certainly not a tornado in that image. And this next shot, uh, this is coming from the uh, Coleman winston County line uh, earlier today. This would be probably north of Jones Chapel. 
Uh, and uh, that is a, the structure on these things can be pretty amazing. I've worked many of these tropical supercell storms coming into these tropical systems, and they can be awfully impressive. And that's what it looked like. And you can see that thing is spinning like a top. That is not a time lapse. That is in real time. And uh, that's a, a pretty impressive look at the storm. And again, this was the Cullman Winston County line uh, taken with this storm that is now in probably southern Morgan County. It's come on through the northwestern part of Cullman County. It's up into southern uh, uh, Morgan at this point. I've heard of no specific damage reports coming in from our friends uh, at the Weather Service or our Sky Watchers. We're watching all of the chat sessions, and I've not seen any specific damage. Let's go back to the radar if we can. Uh, it is 547, and again, the warning is set to expire here in uh, just uh, in 13 minutes at 6 o'clock. I do not expect to see the warning extended. Uh, and again, uh, uh, based on everything we're seeing. We got a new warning from the National Weather Service in Birmingham. This is going to be a flash flood. I'm sorry, they're canceling the flash flood watch. That's great news. That's good news. So uh, BMX issues something. They're actually canceling the flash flood watch. So the flash flood watch has been canceled for central Alabama for tonight. There's basically no rain at all in that flash flood watch area, and I think that's the right thing to do. And we stress for the high school football games tonight, it will not be raining everywhere. It will be raining in spots, and there could be a few severe storms, especially in the northwestern part of the state up here. But for a lot of high school stadiums tonight, you'll get away with no rain at all. It's kind of a hit and miss thing tonight. Uh, so, again, we're watching, you know, what could be two broad areas of circulation here, one that's kind of developed on the backside of this thing down here below Lake On and north of Vinemont below Lake On. The other one is up around Falkville. Neither one of those especially tight. Let's put the reflectivity back on. Uh, again, it is 548. And uh, the warning in effect for about uh, 11 more minutes. And again, this is the segment that has prompted this. And this has produced a lot of damage back in Winston County. I see a lot of damage, a lot of tree damage. We've heard of some structural damage back in Winston County. And it still could be producing some damage, mainly with straight line winds. Even if there's no tornado involved, this thing could produce strong straight line winds. Just understand that. Coming through southern Morgan County, again, uh, Decatur is way up here. This is Hartsell. This is all below Hartsell, actually. Falkville down to Lake Hon. And in Cullman County, this is basically from Vinemont North. Now, the southern end of this will be coming into Cullman. I want to make it clear, everybody... In Coleman County, is going to get a storm this evening, but we're focusing on severe storm and tornado danger, and that danger is in the northern part of the county, north of the city of Coleman. So let's go back to our velocity display, and I, I, I'm pretty sure the weather service is going to let this thing go until 6 o'clock, and then uh, when that has ended, um, we should be done with this storm in terms of, for, for us, because it'll be up in the uh, Huntsville television market. Um, and let's see, want to go back and show uh, a couple of images really quickly here. Uh, and again, as we uh, get set to uh, kind of transition, let's go back to WEX05 real quick. And I, this is what this thing has been producing. That, that's what this thing looked like coming through Addison earlier today. And uh, that is a, I'm not saying there's a tornado or funnel cloud there. There could be, but that storm was spinning like a top. And that storm is now the one that is up into southern Morgan County. That's the one that is traversed through northwestern Cullman County. And uh, let's go to our uh, folks in the dash cam if we can. Uh, they've got pretty good uh, downpour, I think, now as, as they're getting. Uh, of course, the minute we take the video, everything froze up here. But they're in Cullman County approaching those storms, and uh, they're getting into some heavy rain. So let's go back to the radar. Uh, this is the velocity. Which radar, Taylor? This is from High Top. So. High Top. That's the closest radar we have to this. And again, that's awfully broad. Uh, broad circulation in northern Cullman County, broad circulation near Falkville. Uh, I would imagine this warning, I don't think they're going to cancel it early. In fact, what they're going to do right now, they're going to replace it, it looks like, with a severe thunderstorm warning. So the Weather Service is issuing a severe thunderstorm warning in effect now for northern Cullman, parts of Madison, Marshall, and Morgan counties until 630. So this is a severe thunderstorm warning for parts of Cullman, Madison, Marshall, Morgan counties until 6.30 this evening. And uh, that is for this segment that will be moving northeast out of Cullman County. So they are not going to reissue a tornado warning, which is the right thing. They might leave that tornado warning in. I think they will until 6 o'clock. And uh, we will stay here. Okay, and we just got our first report of a
Some damage in Cullman County. A barn was damaged at Battleground on Highway 157 with no injuries. That's coming from the Cullman County Emergency Management. They've just they've killed the tornado warning now. The Weather Service has expired the tornado warning for Cullman County, so there is no more tornado warning as of this very moment at 551. And we're going to stay here with you until the news begins at 6 o'clock. We're so, so late in, the, uh, in this half hour. So we're going to be here until the news starts in a few minutes. So, again, here's the big picture. And, again, the concern, it's these storms up here in northwest Alabama. And uh, these thunderstorms are capable of producing strong straight-line winds. In parts of Fayette County, Walker County, and Winston County, we have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. And if we could get that sky cam in Jasper, let's take the sky cam and maybe I think that's already focused in looking northwest. One to take a look at that and this is going to be your shelf cloud right here all right that is the uh, shelf cloud the leading edge of this coming into uh, jasper and we have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect now for walker county uh, and for parts of fayette county and for parts of winston county with this line moving through this is a feeder band coming up into former hurricane laura now a remnant low north of Nashville. And within this, we could see some strong straight line wind. So again, that's a shelf cloud. That's not a wall cloud, not a tornado, but a shelf cloud coming into Jasper, coming off the Jasper sky cam. We'll go back to the radar and kind of show that big picture again. The line of storms now stretching from near Kennedy in Lamar County, right through downtown Fayette, then curving back up to Eldridge and Carbon Hill in Walker County, then right on top of Smith Lake, then curving back up into the Tennessee Valley up toward Decatur and Huntsville. The warning, the tornado warning has been canceled. I know you see the flashing red polygon it's over we have no active tornado warnings now we have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for parts of Fayette Walker Winston northern Cullman counties then over into parts of Madison Morgan and Marshall counties in northeast Alabama a lot of this will be staying north of Interstate 20 if you're south of Interstate 20 you might see a thunderstorm this evening or a shower but the organized batch within this feeder band most likely stays north of Interstate 20 let's kind of expand this out a little bit Taylor wanted to show the uh, larger cities of uh, Tuscaloosa Birmingham Anniston Gadsden so Tuscaloosa is here, Birmingham is here, Gadsden here, Anniston here. That's the tail end of the line right there. That thing just fizzles out around the Lamar Pickens County line. And this is moving east. So Tuscaloosa, good chance this is going to stay north of you. And I understand you might have a shower tonight or an additional storms that forms. But with this feeder band, the main thread is going to be north of Tuscaloosa. It might clip Birmingham. Pretty good chance you're going to see it in Gadsden. And a fair chance you might see it in Anniston. In fact, Lanniston's had some light rain here in the past hour or so. But the main threat here is going to be north of Interstate 20. If you're south of Interstate 20 for a high school football game tonight, you should be in fairly decent uh, shape for that. Uh, so again, uh, we're at 5.54. We're going to start our 6 o'clock news on time at, uh, at 6 o'clock. And again, uh, we have had reports of some damage uh, from parts of Winston County. Let's go uh, back to WEX05 really quickly. These are images coming in from Hartzell. This is the same storm cluster. This is up in uh, uh, Morgan County, and that's what the storm looked like there. We've seen some pretty good uh, structure from this. And uh, this is, that's actually way up north. This is a look at the storm again. This is coming out of uh, Coleman County. That's from the Good Hope area looking north. Let me show some images just in from West Point. Uh, this is up in West Point in Cullman County. And again, you can see a pretty good lowering there, but uh, I've heard of, uh, no, the, the main tornado threat was north of West Point, up toward Battleground. We've had some reports of damage in Battleground to a barn up there. We can actually pull some of those up too on the map if you'd like. Okay, and this is a, a shot here from uh, Cullman County as well. And we can pull up some of those uh, damage reports if you'd like me yeah, to. I can yeah, let's go back to the uh, graphic system if we can real quick. Uh, again, we'll put the damage reports on here. And again, in three minutes, we're going to start the 6 o'clock news. Uh, and again, uh, multiple trees blown down uh, east of Alabama Highway 33. That's a possible tornado. And again, all of this happened earlier this afternoon. Uh, this is some building materials scattered all over the place at Wilkins Builders. Uh, that's in uh, Winston County as well. And again, these are this is the same storm that has come through northern Cullman County as well. This is an upshaw, trees blown down from a possible tornado there. And again, I stress that you see that red flashing polygon, that's gone away. The warning has been canceled. All of the warnings are severe thunderstorm warnings in effect now. And again, all of these reports are coming in from, uh, from Winston County. Um, want to... Uh, Let's go back to WEX05 real quick one more time. Wanted to show this shot again. This is pretty remarkable. I think this might be the 
some of the best video of the day showing the structure of these storms. Uh, this is what the uh, thunderstorm looked like on the Cullman Winston County line coming up into the northwestern part of Cullman County earlier uh, today. Uh, and again, excellent structure. There's an obvious wall cloud there. Is there a tornado? You can't see because of the trees. That's one thing about Alabama. You know, the spotters, they get out there in Kansas and Oklahoma and, you know, out there, they, they just got open country. Around here, we have a whole lot of trees. And so, but uh, that's a good example of the structure that we have seen today. So let's go back to our radar. And again, we're going to start the newscast here in a couple of minutes. Uh, we have, let's put look at a big view here. Taylor, go back to the big view for our high school football planners tonight. A lot of coaches are watching this. A lot of high school principals trying to make a decision on what to do. If you're south of Interstate 20, you're in pretty good shape down here. You might have a shower, but these big storms are going to be mainly north of a line, really north of US 82. Tuscaloosa, I think it's going to miss you to the north. Birmingham, Birmingham might be clipped by this later this evening, but the main threat's going to be from Birmingham north. And for Anniston, Gadsden, you could see this as well. I think Gadsden, no doubt, you'll have to deal with that line of storms later this evening. Anniston, kind of iffy, but again, south of Interstate 20, you're okay. This is the tornado watch in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. Once we get the sun down, the instability fades and the storm should weaken a good bit. But this is a tornado watch in effect until 8 o'clock for parts of North Alabama. And again, you can see these multiple severe thunderstorm warning polygons, but the tornado warning polygon did uh, was canceled by the National Weather Service earlier. So back to the radar one more time. We have a band of severe storms with a chance of high winds from near the city of Fayette to the northern part of Smith Lake, coming into Jasper around Eldridge, Carbon Hill, and Curry, top of Smith Lake, back into parts of Morgan County at Harshall, back up to Cullman. This will be rolling to the southeast, affecting Jasper soon, affecting Cullman soon, with a chance of strong straight line winds. Much more coming up on ABC 3340 News at 6 o'clock. That starts now. ABC 3340 News starts now with a Weather Authority storm alert. An active weather situation across the area. A tornado watch remains in effect until 1 a.m. for some. And right now on the left-hand part of your screen, you are looking at our crews heading north into Coleman County, into the battleground area where we are getting reports of some structural damage. We've already seen a few warnings this afternoon. Let's get right to Alabama's chief meteorologist, James Spann, to reset this. James? Well, first off, all of the tornado warnings have been canceled or they've expired. We have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect now for northern Coleman County. County for parts of Winston, Walker, and Fayette counties. The main threat now with this band of storms, a feeder band coming up into what used to be Hurricane Laura, the chance of strong straight line winds. These are gradually moving to the east at about 30 miles an hour. The storm's coming across Smith Lake, coming into Cullman, coming into Jasper. They're passing through Fayette now, probably in Birmingham within the hour. The main threat this evening from the heavier storms will be north of the city of Birmingham. And once the sun goes down, the chance of severe weather will taper off. However, we have a tornado to watch until 8 o'clock for about the northern third of the state. So keep that in mind, the chances of these isolated brief tornadoes over the northern part of the state. The good news, I can tell you, the flash flood watch we had, that was expired. That was canceled by the National Weather Service in Birmingham about 15 minutes ago. So no more flash flood watch down here. We have the tornado watch in effect. And again, you can see these multiple severe thunderstorm warning polygons in effect for the chance of strong straight line winds that could exceed in some spots 50 miles an hour. Could be enough to knock down trees and power lines. Those will be advancing rapidly eastward in time. We'll be back with another radar check and a look at the weekend coming up in minutes. Don't go away. Taylor Serralo also in studio with our coverage led by Chief Meteorologist James Spann and the Weather Authority on top of this developing situation. If you need access immediately, download the free ABC 3340 weather apps. You can get the watches and warnings on the palm of your hand when you're on the go. This is what it looked like in Lake Charles, Louisiana, as Hurricane Laura's eye blew through the area. Leaders say the area could be without power and water for weeks.